Tonight, the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Board has voted to rescind the dismissal of Superintendent Michelle Rodriguez. It's our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for being here. I'm Alicia Machado. The vote at a special meeting comes after public outcry and alleged threats against trustees following the decision to fire Rodriguez last week. KION's Josh Cristianto has a closer look at how the board is responding to the controversy. After voting to dismiss Superintendent Dr. Michelle Rodriguez last Wednesday, the board unanimously voted to rescind the termination, reinstating her to that role. I was appreciative of the support that I received from the community and staff um, at the Friday meeting. Some board members who voted to dismiss said they had been receiving threats from the public over their decision, including the board president. Myself, as well as some of the other trustees who were part of the four vote, have been receiving death threats against ourselves as well as threats against our spouses and children. To date, I have received um, no evaluative feedback for the, since, my, um, since my contract was renewed, which happened about five months ago. And I, um, and I have heard, um, I have not heard at all from any of the four board members who, um, who um, chose to um, vote that way. Four trustees initially voted in favor of termination. Georgia Acosta, Oscar Soto, Jennifer Shocker, and Daniel Dodge Jr. All are expected to rescind that vote. Dr. Rodriguez told KION she had no major disagreements with the board prior to her firing and had no idea why this happened. She also said she was not allowed to join the board meeting before her dismissal. A petition was started to restore the superintendent to her position, which garnered more than a thousand signatures. The one thing I would say is I hope um, after all this is resolved that we do what has always been my mantra, which is let's put students first, students and their families first. Reporting in Salinas, Josh Cristianto, KIO News Channel 546. The board also made changes to their leadership team at tonight's meeting. Trustee Jennifer Holm was made the board president, replacing Georgia Acosta. And Jennifer Shocker now serves as the vice president, replacing Oscar Soto.